we go. Yay. All right. Well, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to everyone. Yay. We are live again. Lord Jesus. It is a Monday. Welcome to our favorite day of the week, right, Annie? <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. And uh, uh oh, Lord right. Jesus. There's God bless nobody. America. Right. God course. bless everyone out there tonight. God bless everyone. Happy, happy. I'm looking now for, let me see, where do I need to be? Where am I? All right, so here we are. Oh, we are live, live and in color. Lord, Lord Jesus, amen. All right, hey, Sister Lacey, she's the first one on. Guess what? First one on, first one on. So Sister Lacey, you are the happy winner. <laughs> you don't even know what you won yet, but Sherry Lacey is gonna be our winner, Prophetess Roberson. And so we're excited about that. Hi, Miss Kimberly. I see Minister Kimberly. Woo! All right. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Monday, Monday, Monday. Kim Wallace. Kim Wallace. Wow. I think that's the first time she's ever been on our show. So this is wonderful. I think um, CC Carpenter. See, Minister Carmen is putting all her little friends in. See, uh, that's, she got all that's what that's about. Got <laughs> hey, Annie, Annie, Bless you, guys. All evangelists. Glennis is on. Welcome, you guys. I saw Minister Sherry Lacey very first thing. And um, so she is our winner on tonight. I didn't know how I was gonna pick the winner. Uh, you know, that might be why that happens sometimes is because we're all on all on Facebook at the same time on three different devices. It's just figured out on there. Yeah. Um, but anyway, oh, there's Miss Moni, she's here. All right, you guys, we are super, uber, duper excited tonight. Hey. All right, Evangelist Glennis, welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, Minister Mani is here. And uh, I know you guys are so excited to see Prophetess Carmen on. Oh, We're yeah. so excited. It's, it's been a little while, so we just glad to see her happy face and be able to connect yeah, with her. Yeah, I was her. excited when I heard that yes, she was going to be on yes, the show. Yes. So. Praise the Lord, Miss Minister Connie. Welcome to you. I'm just sharing the show. You still got time to um to share, 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 share. Hallelujah. Oh, I think I shared. I wrote a post and shared it to. Let me see here. I need to share it to my page. All right. So I'm ready to go in. All right. Yes, honey. We gonna give her a few minutes, and you know she gonna preach. You know she gonna preach, but we, we gonna try to just chit chat tonight. But if the Holy Ghost hit, hey, hey. <laughs> you know she is already ready to go. Don't Amen. Fight it. Don't fight it. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, my brother David, is that is that David that lost his sister? No. Oh, no. okay. Thank God. Hey, green, babe. I don't, on. you didn't say which day, but I know 50 right days. Listen, listen, <laughs> you didn't say which day. Oh, 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 that's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, All what's right. up, big day? Hey, David, we glad to see you on tonight. Hey, Miss Sandra, welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys still have a few minutes to share this post and get some more people on. We are super duper excited. It's going to be a great show. Ooh, Prophetess Ernestine, bless you. We're glad you're here. Yay. Oh, there's Auntie Sylvia. Oh, it's really going to be a good show now. Auntie Sylvia's on. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, sweet pie, we're glad to see you. All right, you all take a few minutes and please, please, please share this post with whoever you may choose to share. Let me see. I want to share public. I want my friends uh i just wanted this to go to my page yes 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 and i don't think i've been able to do that 
I'm not sure why. I can share it to your page. Can you do that? Yes, thank you. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my page. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We are super duper excited tonight to have, oh, just one of the sweetest people I know. One of the most anointed and just a sweet pie, powerful in the Holy Ghost. This is Prophetess Carmen Roberson. Woo! Welcome, Miss right. Carmen. Oh. Praise the Lord. Thank you all so much for this invitation. I am so honored to be on your awesome show. Thank you, Pastor Nate and Dr. Well, Burnett. We, I we're love glad you both. to have you. We glad to have we you. We love you. We love you and your amazing family. Thank and uh, we're going to go ahead and open up with prayer because Minister Monty is on it. She is on the line and we are ready to go. And um, Pastor? No, we're going to have our guests pray. The guests going to yeah. pray? All right. Well, Prophetess Carmen, would you open us up in prayer tonight? Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Amen. Jesus, Father, we thank you and we give you honor. We give you praise. Thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Ooh, we please. magnify and glorify your holy name. Father, yeah. we come tonight, oh God, just to glorify you. We come to lift your name up yes. tonight. God, we ask you to yes. have yes. Yes. We ask you to speak through have our mouth tonight. Up. Oh God, let Thank encouragement you, come out tonight. Let edification come out tonight. Tonight. Let your anointing come out tonight, yes, Lord. And I thank you for Pastor tonight. Nate and Dr. Bernetta. God bless them and bless thank this you, show. Lord, bless bless you, all the ones that have tuned in on tonight, Lord. In the name yes, of Jesus. God. And God, yes, let God. your thank will, you, God. Let it be done yes, on tonight's day, Lord. Yes, we give yes, you the praise, yes, yes, And we thank give you the you. glory, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Lord. It's going to be a hot time tonight. So we're so glad we asked um, Prophetess Carmen to come on tonight because we want to share the awesome things that are going on in your life and the work of the Lord that you are doing. Uh, I opened up my Facebook and I saw that she has a new book yes. that she's written that's available. And when I clicked on the link to the website, she has, I mean, to buy the book, she has a whole website. And tonight I even found out that she has launched a ministry. So Woo, we just want to hear what the Lord has done. Amen. That's what our show is all about. We've been having a good time doing that, huh? Yes. Just yeah. having people on and giving voice and shedding light on wonderful ministry um, yes. that's going on in the world. And so uh, what an honor. We're so glad you said yes. And so I want to just start this off by saying, um, why don't you introduce yourself? I know most of the people that are on they do know you, that's for sure. But this is going to be on YouTube. And there will be so many people that watch this later who haven't had the pleasure yet, Prophetess Carmen. So come on and tell us a little bit about yourself. Amen. Amen. Well, first of all, I am a lover of Jesus Christ. That's my first calling. Amen. Yes. And I Amen. my Amen. wife to Elder Damon Roberson. Hi, sweetheart. Hey. Amen. Hey. <laughs> Amen. And I am a mother of two uh, boys, Thomas and Nicholas. And uh, that is my first ministry and my first priority right there. All right now. Yes, Lord. My family, my husband, my children. Yeah. Um, but I am also um, a, a prophetess, a teacher, an entrepreneur. Um, and I, I mean, the list can go on and it's to God be all the glory Yes. And the thing that he has called me to do, um, you know, like I said, it, the list can just go on and on it's and on. True. Like, it's true. It's true. <laughs> but those are my primary things. And I love doing what God has called me to do. I'm so grateful and I'm honored that God would even choose me to yes. do anything. Yes. You know, right. I, I yes. Just, you know, when I think yes. about my background and the things that I was involved in when, before I got saved, I said, Lord, I don't know what you were doing when you called me. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
that's why I just I give it all because it all. Know, that's right. Yeah, I don't yes. deserve to be doing nothing, but Ooh, I give please. it all to God. Yes, you know, because amen. I know He doesn't have to call amen. me to do anything. So yes, Jesus. Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. Well, when did you get saved? Well, tell us a little bit about your salvation story. Amen. Well, I grew up in church my whole life. Mm. Uh, my mom was an evangelist. And so I've been in church as long as I can remember. remember and right. within all the shut-ins and the Sunday schools and the prayer meetings, I was in everything. We was in 3.30 <laughs> service, night service. We went to service all through the week. And wow. even though I grew up in church, I was a hard-headed, rebellious young woman. Oh, and bless so, you. Yeah. We can't even yes. imagine it. We can't oh, yeah, even imagine it. That must oh, be God. another part. Yeah, that's, a, that's somebody else. Y'all, I was rebellious. <laughs> and my mother, praise God for my mother, she was a prayer warrior my and God. an intercessor. All right. And so um, what you are looking at today is a product Yes. A whole lot of prayer. A whole lot of prayer. A whole lot of prayer. My mother, you know, she was a prayer warrior. And so I got saved at the age of 25 years old after I acted a fool in the world (laughs) and did what I thought I wanted to do. I acted a fool, y'all, but (laughs) I'm not ashamed to tell my testimony because God has brought me a long, Amen. long way. Oh, I'm telling you, and my mother prayed, and she prayed, and she prayed, and she prayed some more. Okay, All I'm right. telling you, oh, and I wait. thank God for my upbringing in church. Oh. The Bible says to train up a child All in right. the way that he should go, and when he's right. old, he right. will not depart from <laughs> it. So I never forgot the 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 prayer meetings i never forgot the preaching and the sunday school even though i was swinging from the chandeliers and doing what i wanted to do in the world i never forgot my lord my My lord all right prayers yeah hallelujah and so i thank god for being a product of prayer a lot of tears and a lot of travail went forth to bring me in Yes, Hallelujah. God. And Hallelujah. not only you, y'all too. I yeah, know you absolutely. Absolutely. I know actually, I'm not the only one. You're not the only, you're not alone. Actually, not alone. actually, Jesus. I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 Praise so, God. Praise a God. lot of travail. A lot of travail. Saints, Amen. don't stop praying. Saints, don't stop praying. But mothers, somebody be encouraged right now. Your child is running around, running amok, and you think they are lost. Don't worry. Just keep praying. Keep praying. Just Amen. don't stop praying. Somebody's turned around right now. They flipped over yes. on the other side. But don't stop. Keep, keep crying. Keep crying out. Keep talking to God. Don't give up. Somebody that a family member is, is just out there, won't listen to nothing. You That's know how right. they do. But don't worry, just keep on praying. And, and praying. you are looking at a living, walking, breathing testimony of what Telling prayer me. will, Amen. not can, Amen. but yes. will do if you don't give up. Come on, somebody get encouraged Amen. right now. Amen. Woo, I feel encouraged. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, yes. glory to God. Yes. Don't quit praying. Don't quit praying. I know somebody's tired. I pray the Lord breathe an a extra a wind, wind of encouragement, a fresh wind of encouragement on your soul. Yeah. Ooh, Cause it's just, it's just a blessing to hear you say, you know, I was out there, but then the prayers, that, that lasso of the prayers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got a hold to you. you. God knows how to get your attention. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> he know how to give you that road to Damascus moment. Right. Yeah, the light shine down, and you just yeah. pop right in your mess. Yes. And all you do is raise your hands and surrender to the Lord. Oh, Amen. Lord. We thank God for that. Thank, thank God. God thank for God. That. Yeah. And now she has a wonderful husband. She has these beautiful children. She's homeschooling these precious boys. I, I, I just ooh, I, I gotta, I, I give it to you because I'm a teacher as well. So I know Man. it's a work. It's a work. Um, but now tell us now, when did you first know that God had called you into ministry? Amen. 
Well, when after I got saved, um, well, before I got saved, I was always a dreamer. I was always a person that dreamed a lot about things that were um, going to happen. So that was something that I was already used to. But then when I got saved, the Lord started to speak to me in my dreams and he would call me prophet mm. in the dream. And he mm. began to also speak to me in uh, the word of the Lord. One of the scriptures that he called me into ministry with was Jeremiah one and five. He mm. kept giving me that scripture over and over before I formed thee in the belly. My goodness, I yes. knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And so he gave me that scripture over and over and over again. And mm. I would dream and he would speak to me and he would call me prophet. And I even had some experiences like Samuel where I would be asleep and I would hear the voice calling me calling me, calling me by my name. And I would mm -hmm. get up and it was, the voice was so loud. It was like an audible voice mm -hmm. and God was calling me. He was just calling me. And that happened to me two or three times. And so I went through several different experiences where the Lord was showing me that this is what he had called me to do. And, um, of course, uh, many people know that when you're called into something like that, it takes a process because when oh, I first yeah. got saved, I definitely wasn't ready to step into that because I, I had to go through a major, yeah. major transformations yeah. 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 for yes, him God. to be able to trust me with such a, a, a weighty office and a weighty responsibility in the right. kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And so, but this is how he began to call me through the word, through dreams and him mm -hmm. speaking to me. Uh, many people would prophesy to me and say, um, you're a prophetess. And, mm -hmm. you know, I just kind of put it on the shelf because I knew I wasn't ready to step right. into that at that time. But, right. you know, I knew this from very early of my salvation because he immediately wow. began to speak to me. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Oh, I yes. believe somebody that's listening to this or somebody that hears this, they're going to be so encouraged. Uh, Prophetess Carmen, because they're going to realize, oh my goodness, I have dreams too. Right. Yes. I, I, you know, I think I've heard the voice of the Lord and many of us that we, that's the reason they, they, that it, we say a calling because yes. you heard the Lord yes. call your name, your name. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Those of us that are in the mission, we heard God yes. say, call our name. And that's Amen. why we we have a, as a calling. All right. So one of the exciting things that we're here for is because we know that you have started a ministry. Yes. And uh, so tell us about the ministry. Amen. Come on, tell Amen. us. Amen. I am I so excited about the ministry because I always wanted to help people. You know, when I got saved, I was just so grateful to be in. I was like, I'm in, you know, I yes, was like, yes. thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I got off the devil's territory and yes. I'm in, yes. you know, yes. I, I don't know if y'all know what I mean, but when you get in, when you used to be way out in the dark, right, right. I was so happy just to get right. in. I said, Lord, right. thank you. I yes. told the Lord years ago, I said, I'll clean the toilets in heaven. Glory right. to God. I'm just right. so happy to right. be in. Oh, that's good. That's I'm good. Just you, it in. I, will Lord shine, I will shine the streets of gold in heaven. Yes. I ain't got to have yes. no big <laughs> position in heaven. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm telling yes. you. But I always wanted to help people. And the Lord told me uh, to start a ministry in 2012 called Redeeming Souls. And um, at that time, I started to have uh, meetings at my home, mm -hmm. and we would, I'm telling you, those meetings would be so loud, and I, <laughs> we would pray, we would worship, I mean, the Lord right. would speak through uh, prophetic words, people would receive the Holy Ghost, Amen. we would baptize people, and so that's kind of how it started, it, it wasn't even planned, all of it, but God told me to start it, and people just start coming over. And so that's how it started back in 2012. And now the Lord has had me to make it an online ministry. We have 
uh, Bible study. We have healing and deliverance gatherings on Zoom every okay. week. Okay. Uh, we have prayer meetings every week. And so God is just moving powerfully. People are getting healed. Amen. People are getting Amen. delivered. Amen. To Amen. God be all the glory. And um, God is just moving by his spirit. You know, I told the Lord, you know, when I came into the kingdom, I didn't want to come because I served the devil with all my heart. And so now right, that I'm serving right, the Lord, right. I want to give him everything. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hold back. And I want right, the, the right. power of God mm -hmm. to be able to flow because it takes the power of God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost in order to destroy the yokes that people yes. are involved in. Yes. And yeah, so I, need, I said, God, I can't do nothing without the anointing. I need yeah. the anointing to be able to help pull the people out of where they are. God wants yeah. to lift the people up. Right. Amen. Yeah, right. And so that's the ministry that we're doing right now. And we, uh, we're going to be launching a website for that ministry soon, just so people can contact us or whatever mm -hmm. and whatever we need to put up there. So we're excited. About yes. what God is doing. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Every ministry that's born is a miracle, and it is a miracle that's de determined, uh, decided, and determined to bless the, the men and women that are seeking the kingdom. I am so excited. Amen. I'm so excited. Amen. Now, what's the name of your ministry? Redeeming Souls. And we Redeeming do have souls. yes, and we do have a Facebook page. So Redeeming Souls, okay. you can find it on Facebook. And okay. I constantly put up messages and prayers on our Facebook page that we share, you know, because I'm constantly ministering the word and praying. So the Lord told me to put that on uh Facebook. And yes. so that's on Facebook every week. And so yeah, I'm excited about what God is doing. We and have how he's like moving. Page. Amen. Yeah. So you Amen. can find Minister Prophetess Carmen on um, uh, her Redeeming Souls ministry. It is on Facebook. There's a website coming. We just found out. I just found out today that she's already um, started, the, done the paperwork, and everything is completed for the 501c3. So she is fully established in this ministry right, and God right. is already doing, we know the Lord was going to work. We just, you know, have to follow all the other right, steps. Absolutely. And if you've ever done any work with the government, you know, it's a whole, whole bunch of steps. <laughs> yes. Thank God that she is there. And fairly shortly, she's going to be launching her website for that ministry. And so we just, oh, we're so Amen. excited. Amen. Amen. Woo! That was good. It's Amen. some souls about to be redeemed. Lord of mercy. So <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank God you can reach out to her on Facebook and go and see her page, go like her page. And uh, just know we are already uh, praying for the success and the growth. Amen. And the, the overflow Absolutely. for Absolutely. that ministry. We're so grateful to God for your faithfulness. And anybody that knows Prophetess Carmen, you know she is a thunder and a fire in the kingdom. And uh, if you're not saved, you're going to be saved. Just, <laughs> just, 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 Absolutely. Just, don't, you know, don't worry. Just, just hang, oh, hold on. <laughs> Salvation is coming. And there's power and deliverance. So we're so excited about that. And uh, that's just redeeming souls. And maybe she'll just do redeemingsouls.com. We'll see. But go to her page it's on Facebook. Yeah, redeemingsouls.org. She's already got the um right. the domain name. Redeemingsouls.org. But she has a Facebook page. My husband's already on it, and Monty already put it in the chat. Thank you, Monty. And so you'll be able to connect with her. Now the website is not up yet, so don't go look yet, but it's coming. So um, be patient for that. But go check out her page, go like her page, go share her page. Um because we want as many souls. Oh, we, it's just so many souls. Amen. We need, get, we need them to be redeemed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. I love yes. it. We're so yes. excited. Amen. Yes. Now, the, the next thing that we definitely want to do, and, and so we have, you have a whole other, another side that you've been working on. Tell us more about that. Amen. And so the Lord um, also told me to start a business. And the business is connected to ministry. Amen. Right. And so, uh, yes, amen. Beautiful. And so uh, one of the things that I'm doing with the business is um, coaching. I am a certified 
life coach and my niche is helping people to walk in their purpose mm. and this oh my god purpose is so important to god because it is the reason why we here are on the earth and god has established a big picture purpose and a will but each one of us has an individual purpose that mm. we play a part in the big picture that god has ordained and even in the church many of us are not walking in our purpose and so right. this is what i'm helping people to do to get in a place where they many people are stuck they're stuck mm. in for different reasons and they they the procrastinations or inconsistency and different things like that and so what i do is help them to get unstuck and to be able to not just dream about their purpose, but actually walk in their purpose. And you know, in church, you know, somebody will get a prophetic word and the word of the Lord, you're gonna open a business or you're gonna start this ministry or you're gonna do this or you're gonna do that. You're gonna travel the world and preach all these prophecies. And you know how we do in church, we start speaking in tongues, falling out, you know, going crazy and all that. And that's wonderful. But there's a process to <laughs> right. the purpose. Right. 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 You have right. to war for the purpose. There's a fight to be mm. who God has purposed you to be because you got to understand that the devil doesn't want us to walk in our purpose because our That's purpose, right. That's glory right. to God, yes, is connected to people and it's connected to helping people. And so our purpose we got a war for our purpose wow. we got to fight yeah. for our purpose we got to yeah. push for our yeah. purpose we got to yeah. pray into our purpose yeah amen, yeah. amen. and so amen. that's what i help people to do um also um i have some online courses for people to take to to help them get propelled into the things that god wants them to be propelled in because again a lot of a lot of things people don't understand about their purpose, but they, they need a push. They need a motivation. They need an right, encouragement. Right, right, yes. Right. And so that's what God told me to do to, to start this business and to encourage his people to walk in their purpose, to motivate them to walk in their purpose. And that's what I'm trying to do is help people Amen. walk. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Amen. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ooh, we, ooh, we. Yeah, it is so important. You want to say Well, you know, Carmen, you're the type of person the Lord have to keep coming up with stuff for you because you 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 want to be busy. You want to be busy. And uh, you know, just watching you, you know, we we can see the impact that God has placed on your life. You know, the, the word said to him, much is given, much is also required. Yes. And I think you're really living up to that. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. and then, you know, story. yes, absolutely. Yes. Just just keep extending and keep reaching out, you know, and keep doing more and more and more in the ministry, especially in the day and time that we're living in right now. So we, yes. we really congratulate you and we're happy for you. And I mean, we're not surprised. We knew mm -hmm. that Carmen was doing ministry. Yes. <laughs> we do that. Right. Absolutely. Just so yeah. excited to, to see the, the the wealth that is there. Right. And how God is just really forming it. You know, it's like you said, there is a process. Yes. You know, some people, like you said, they'll get a word. They just think, okay, you know, somebody says you've been called to the nations. And so then they expect to be on a plane tomorrow. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's right. That's not how this works. No, <laughs> That's right. not no. how any of this works. Right. And no. so there is a walking out like past prophetess Ernestine says, all right, after you done speaking in tongues, you now you got to walk it out. My Lord, and, my Lord. And we need more people in the kingdom my Lord. who focus in and hone in on the process. Um, yeah, after you've heard the preached word, after you've heard the prophecy, now what? And so yes. this is great. And so um, do you mind? I'd love to share your website. Would that be okay? Oh, sure. Yes. Okay. So I happened to look it up earlier today. Let me see here. And uh, here we go. I'm going to go here. And this is All right. um, Carmen .com. This is her wonderful. It's called rs enterprises what does that stand for um it just stands for rs just stands for redeeming souls enterprises 
I right. love it. Gotcha. Yeah, I love it. And look at this beautiful website. You all were on the um, beginning page here. And right. uh, already we've got this gorgeous really picture. Nice. Website, and we see right. this book. This is what got my right. attention right. earlier. Right. We're going to talk about the book in just a second. Um, but we have this beautiful uh, page here. And uh, you were saying that there's training, there's class classes there's all sorts of stuff here would you like us like to have us look at a few things here uh prophetess so that we can help people you know find this later amen yeah you can scroll down a little bit and the next thing is just the book if they want to buy the book they can click that and then under the book it will be the coaching and i talk about their um you know, being inspired and motivate to accomplish their purpose. And, you know, we help, I help them to set goals and strategies to get them unstuck. Okay. So if people are interested in being coached to get past some things that they're like, man, I want to do what God has called me to do, but I'm just, I just can't move forward. You know, we get strategies for them. And so they can contact me by pushing that button. And then under that is uh, some of the online courses that the Lord had me to and these courses, I actually, oh my God, and you know, I hate to talk about this, but you know, you all know when you do ministry, you there's a lot of warfare and a lot of attacks. Absolutely. And yes. <laughs> after I made yes. these courses, the enemy attacked me, but the Lord showed me a dream after I made these courses. And what in the dream, I saw people's ears being cleaned out, spiritual wax. Wow coming out of the wow. fear right, and the Lord right. was letting me know that people are going to on another level learn to hear from God yeah. and that's one yeah. of the key things that people need in this hour they need to hear the voice of the Lord many saints don't know how to hear God's voice and be able to follow right. his instructions right. and follow his purpose but you got to know how to hear the voice of the Lord. You got to know how yeah. to hear the still small voice of the Lord and in the multiple ways that he speaks to us. And so these courses help people with those. And um, we're talking about spiritual gifts. And that's so important because every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. And Amen. all of our gifts are to equip us to operate in our purpose. He gave us gifts to operate in purpose. And so all of our anointing, all of our giftings, all of our skills and talents and everything that God has given us is for our purpose. People think, yes. oh, that's for me. That's not for you. That's for somebody else. <laughs> that's right, the one right, in your purpose. Right. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. And so God wants the, the church, the body of Christ to manifest his glory through spiritual gifts, through being able to do the very thing that God has purposed them to do in the earth. And so these courses will assist people and help them to move forward in some things that they might be stuck in. Amen. And then at the bottom, it's just, um, if people are interested, I, I do a newsletter every month for a purpose. And it's just an encouragement and a motivation. They can sign up for free to get a newsletter every month. And I'm just going to encourage them, get in your purpose. Amen. Yes. So yes. And so that's pretty much uh, the website there. And um, I'm just excited about what God is doing. Excellent. excellent. That is absolutely excellent. excellent. Yeah. You all see this beautiful website, these amazing courses. Look how reasonable these prices are. You can just click in, sign up, and really begin this process. And it it's, looks like it's self-paced. So if somebody wants to start the course, they can start at any time, right? That's right. And it's mm -hmm. accessible 24 seven. They can start do because I have uh, two of the courses are oh, three hours or more. And one of the courses is oh, six hours. So they're, they're okay. pretty lengthy okay. courses. Right. Yes, right. a lot of teaching. Right. And so they can Good. do a little Good. bit here, come back another time and, and finish it and then keep going back in. They can keep assessing it. So they can well, hear it over and over again. Wrong. Yes. Okay, so once you purchase the course, you will have access to that course and you can pace yourself and go through and then even go back. And uh, I love it. I love it. This is just awesome. And so th these three courses here, the Kingdom Foundation course, it's five lessons. 
Um, and she has a spiritual awareness course that's also five lessons and then the spiritual gifts. And I'm going to imagine you go through each of the gifts yes in that particular course mm -hmm. yeah so there's 10 lessons there you all look at this amazing work we're just we're just glad to be able to say we knew her when her huh, bag exactly so we oh. knew her before she launched her website we're so honored <laughs> so I <laughs> <tell> you. <laughs> Amen. This is amazing. You can go right to CarmenRoberson.com and you can click on this. Now, just tell us a little bit about the benefits of coaching. We know a lot of people who um, have uh, considered themselves life coaches and uh, tell us a little bit of the benefits once you connect with a coach. Amen. I think a lot of people are seeking a coach at this time because they know what they want to do they know they're supposed to start this or they're supposed uh -huh. to do this, but they just don't know how to start or they're stuck you know something is is hindering them mm -hmm. from being able to fulfill and and meet that purpose and so mm -hmm. the benefit of coaching is having someone to encourage you motivate you and not only that to keep you accountable mm -hmm. okay right, so that's one right, of the things right. that coaches do yeah is that after we have set goals and strategies to get you to where you are trying to get to, then me as a coach, I keep you accountable for the different steps and the process. Okay. So I'm okay. walking with you as you try to reach this purpose or this goal and try to achieve it. And so sometimes that accountability helps them mm -hmm. to move forward and get to a place where they're not stuck anymore because now someone is is cheerleading for them, motivating yeah. them, encouraging yeah. them, clapping for them, telling them you can yeah. do it, keep going. Right, it's right, right there, just right, keep pushing right. forward. And yeah. so sometimes we need that encouragement. We yeah. need to be accountable for, you know, in a, in, in a positive way. Hey, yeah. were you able to get that done? Hey, what? how did that go? And so those are the things that myself as a coach is just really to encourage the people and let them know right. you can do yeah. it. If God has called you to do it, you can do it. And right. I'm going right. to be here to help you get to where you want to be. Oh my goodness. That's God. beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, that's so All exciting. Right. So if that sounds like you, then you need to come to this website, CarmenRoberson.com. Yes. You just scroll on down and you can contact Prophetess Carmen and she will get you unstuck. All yes. right. So you don't have any more excuses. Amen. You know how you keep making those New Year's resolutions. And we talked about that at the beginning of the year, you guys. And yes. so you guys, it's April. Remember all oh those resolutions goodness. you made in January? <laughs> Guess what? The first quarter of the year is coming to an end my Lord. very shortly. And That's my right. question is how much traction have you made? on right. your goals. And if you know you haven't moved forward, then that's a sign that you're stuck. Yes. And here you have an anointed yep. coach. Now, a lot, of folks, um, yeah. a lot of folks call themselves coaches and I'm not gonna say nothing bad about them, but this coach is anointed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. An anointing. Oh yeah. God, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. So ooh, we're so excited about that. And now I got to get to this book. Right. Lord <laughs> of mercy. I said, babe. Amen. Carmen, she wrote a book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, I've been seeing this book on Facebook a lot. A lot of people have already purchased her book and they have yeah. posted their, their copies on Facebook. So it's good that they're, everyone is behind this book yes. and everyone is pushing it. And yes. so, hey, if you know, if you haven't read a book in a while, here you go. Here we go. Transformed by Jesus. My That's Lord, your book. just beautiful. Amen. Tell us about this book. Amen. Well, this is a book of, about a few months ago. The Lord spoke to me and he said he wanted me to write a book. And he told me he wanted me to give my testimony uh, about the things that I've gone through and okay. things that happened prior to salvation and different things. My process. And right. he gave me the whole structure of the book. And um, the, the book is really about being transformed and conformed into the Amen. image of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Amen. so 
this book is 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 a is a testimony and it's also in an, an instructional memoir mm -hmm. because I'm not only walking you through what I've gone through, but I'm telling you how you can be transformed and what how I was able to be transformed by the power of God. And so this is my testimony. And it really shows forth the miraculous and transformational power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, many people think that it's over with, I, you know, I can't be this or I can't do this, but I'm telling you, that's why I say, if I'm in the kingdom, if I can be transformed, anybody right, can be Right, right, absolutely. Amen, there's hope yes, for all of yes, us. Yes, yes, absolutely. There is hope for all of us. And so this, is, this book is about transformation. The Bible says that God is the potter and we are the clay. Yes. And so in yeah. order for us to be what he's purposed us to be, he has to put us on the potter's wheel. Mm. And All even right. after, right. yes, even after we get saved, people say, oh, I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm good now. But that's not the end of it. Actually, no, your transformation yeah. <laughs> just started. Because right. now we still got to go through your childhood. Now we still got to go my through all Lord. the stuff you've been through Lord, and it Lord. transform you even more. And I love this scripture in Romans 8 and 29. It says, for whom he did foreknow, yes. he also did predestinate to be conformed into the image of his son. And so it's my destiny yes. to be like Jesus. That's your destiny to be like amen, Jesus. Amen, and amen. in order for us to be like Jesus, he's going to have to put us on the potter's wheel Ooh, and change yes. us and conform us in so many different ways over right. and over and over and over right. again. It's so many processes, but we have to allow God to transform mm. us. There is a surrendering that must mm. happen Many people want to be transformed, but they're not surrendering to God. Mm. And Lord. I, you know, I, I would be in church even years ago. We would be like, I surrender all. Right, right, right. And right. we would sing that song. And right. no, we was not trying to be transformed. <laughs> <laughs> then y'all know what I'm talking about. Hell, hands lifted up. Yeah, and we're right, singing. Right. But we're not surrendering. Oh, Ooh, Lord, we, Lord, we're not surrendering. Lord. Because when my you Lord. really get transformed, you're going to have to humble yourself. You're yes, going to have to allow my. God to rebuke you. And yes, even chasing you. My if Lord. that's necessary. See, my we don't Lord. talk about these things, but it's the truth anyway. Right, yes. right, we have to yes. humble ourselves and be teachable and say, God, change me. Yes, that was yes. the way you want to change me. Yes. Conform yes. me to be like you. See, when you get conformed, you take on the character and the nature of yes. Jesus Christ. Now, we know all right. we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Right. And so we right. were so far away from being right. like Jesus. So My in order for us to take on his character and his nature, we gonna have to die. Woo. Oh, we gonna have to humble ourselves. Yes. We gonna have to lift up our hands and say, "God, I surrender." Yes. And what you want me to do? I wave yes. my white flag of surrender. I'm tired of wrestling. <laughs> right. with oh, God. God. Many people Ooh, in the church they wrestling. They wrestling with yes. God, but God told you to wrestle with the devil. He didn't right. tell you to my wrestle Lord. with him. He wants you Lord. to surrender. Surrender, wave, wave your white flag and lift right, your hands right, and say, right, God, right. whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. Yes. You call me to do whatever. Yes, yes. I say yes. Yes, yes. to your will. I say yes. Yes, yes to your way. I yes. will obey. Yes. Oh, it takes a lot to do that. Yes. Because My many God. times we got a lot of stuff in the way. Ooh, but wait. Yes, this yes. This is what the book is about. It's about many transformations and surrendering uh -huh. that God had me to go mm -hmm. through so I could do what I'm doing now. There's no way I could do the things I'm doing now, ministry and a business and all of this, if I hadn't said, yes, hey, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Woo! If my I God. hadn't allowed him to put me on the wheel. Yes. Right. Take this junk out of me and, and yes. cut me down and Mm. Make me get humble and make mm. me say yes to the will of God. I couldn't do it. Right, I couldn't do right, it. I'm telling you, right. I couldn't do 
it. Right, right, if right. If God right. had not changed me in so right, many ways, God. it wouldn't have happened. Yes, come on. That's one of the reasons why many in the church are, they can't seem to get in their ministry or get in their purpose and calling because they haven't got on the potter's wheel and said yes. Right, right, yes, right. Yes, Lord. Right. My God. So, this is what My the book God. is about. That's the transformation. Good. And That's I'm very good. honest and transparent in the book. I tell on me mm, because right. I'm telling you, you know, we got to get out of religion where, see, religion covers up. It tries yes. to cover up stuff. Yes. But God is the spirit of truth. And he yes. said, the truth shall make you free. Right. We got to be honest and truthful about what's going on in the inside of our heart and our soul yes. and our mind. So yes. he can come in and begin to change us and transform us and conform yes. us into the image. It's yes. my yes. destiny. Yes. It's yes. your yes. destiny. Yes. To yes, be like yes. Jesus, to have his character, to have his love yes. and his compassion, yes. his yes. nature, his peace, his joy. Yes. yes. It is our destiny. Yes. We were predestined before the foundation of the world Ooh, to be yes. like my Lord, my Christ. Lord. And many people don't understand. They say, oh, I want to be, uh, this is my person now. No, 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 no. God wants you to be like him. <laughs> yes. That when people come across you, they they feel his love. They feel yes. his presence. They feel the compassion yes. Yes. and the care of the Lord. Yes. And so this is our destiny. Not just me. All of the church oh. is our destiny oh. to be Ooh, like God. So good. Good Ooh, word. Good so word. Good. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Yes. I tell you, make you want to Thank get it together, Lord. don't it? Make you want yeah, to get it together. Absolutely. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, my Beautiful. goodness. Say, okay, Lord, I'll get up on this potter's wheel. Yes. Oh, Thank Jesus. you, Lord. Thank yes, you, Lord. Lord. Yes, God. God. And, and we're so, going, yes, yes, we're excited about that. Um, yeah. Thank God for the truth that's in you and that Thank the Lord you. has revealed to you. And, I, and I'm going to ask now, what's what might be the first step that you share? You said this was a teaching in the book. What mm -hmm. give us one? You you've given us. I mean, I, I'm almost scared to ask that, but just 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 one step. You know, one step that Amen. people have to make if they're gonna really do what God wants them to do. What's one thing that you would say tonight? Amen. Somebody that maybe is not saved, they, they're listening to you. a lot of people that are on, they know you, they love you, but there's this video is going to go out and somebody's watching right now, they're wishing they knew what to do. What, what, where do I start? Yes. What would you say? What would you say, prophetess? Amen. You know? Amen. The first step is giving your life to Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am. It's surrendering and allowing God to save you to fill you, to baptize you in the Holy Ghost, to be baptized in water, to repent. This is the first, see, that's the catalyst to all the other transformations and all the other miracle signs and wonders that God wants to do in your life. But it first starts with getting a relationship with Jesus Christ saying, Lord, you died on the cross and you rose on the third day so that I could be saved, so that I could come into the kingdom of God so mm. that I can be your child. That's our first calling is to be a child of God. Yes. Hallelujah. It's to Amen. be his child. Glory be to God. So that's the first step. People that are not saved, I encourage you. I my exhort Lord, you to give your life to God. You out there right. and doing your thing, but God got something better for you. He yeah, said, I came to give you life right. and right. that more Lord, abundantly. Right. My he has God. an abundant life full of joy, full of love, full of peace. And I'm telling you, it's good on this side. I've been on the <laughs> other side. I've been on the other side. And let me tell you right. something. Lord have mercy. You you, you walk in fear on that other side because you don't know yes. what's going to happen with you. My but when Lord. you get on this side, I'm my telling Lord. you, it's my the Lord. best That's side. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, and it's not too late to switch sides. It's not too Come late. Down. Come on. Hallelujah. You can switch. And I will say the grass is greener on yes, the other side. Is. Hallelujah. Yes. And so yes. that's the oh, first step. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. And we have a special treat because 
we agreed that we were going to sow into Providence Carmen's ministry. And so I told her when we talked, I said, I'm, we're, we're going to sow a book into someone. I don't know how we're going to figure it out, but Minister Sherry Lacey was the first name I saw online tonight. And we are gifting you a book from Carriers of Faith Ministry. Let's right. talk with Nate and Bree. Um, so congratulations, y'all. Give it up for Minister Amen. Sherry. She was on first to crack it. I said, I don't know how I'm going to pick somebody, but when I saw her name, I said, she's the one. Right, right. So Amen. Sherry, there's a book coming to you. We're going to um, uh, send uh, the money for that and, and get that gift out to you. And of course, we're getting our copy. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. We, we can't go without our copy. Um, so we thank God for that. What a powerful, powerful work the Lord is doing in you, Minister Amen. Carmen. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if people, I haven't been, I've been just into this. I hadn't even watched uh, if there's any questions out there, but I know there's people that are longing to be transformed. Yeah. I know that. Yes. I, I, but I do have a question before you, we get off the air because we already at 821. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> So, but I do have a question, Carmen, because, you know, especially to the saints who are in very busy churches, you know, where the church is always doing something, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of time, I mean, that's a good thing, but as, as individuals who've been called by God, we get sidetracked being in ministries that's so busy because mm -hmm. we forget that God called us to ministry. Right. And, 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 and uh, it's nothing wrong with getting in and, and working with you, the ministry that you're a part of and, and sharing your gift. But we have to be very careful that we don't forget that when God called us, there was no ministry involved when it was right. just you and Jesus. Yeah, you know, yeah. and so what can you say to encourage people to not get so busy, not get so caught up in, 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 their, in their church work and forget about the work? the personal work that God gave us to do. I think we, I think a lot of times we forget about that. There's so yeah. much going on. There's so much going on. There's this and that. that they're planning and program here and, 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 you know, all of this stuff coming up and, and, and we're part of the ministry. We're part of leadership, but a lot of times we move in so fast, we forget the gift that God gave us to Amen. do ministry. God, as you said it earlier, he equipped us. And so yes. what can what can you say to encourage us to slow down, take a look, go back, remember that God called you and he called you for something very specific. He didn't, you know, a lot of things we're doing in ministry uh, is good, but it's, we, we leave out what God called us to do. So right. what can you tell us? How can you help us get back on track? Amen. That's really a good question. You, you have to be balanced. You know, if you're a part of a ministry that is very busy, there has to be a balance because we have to remember that our, our commitment and our dedication is to God first and foremost. Yes, Amen. That what he has said trumps anything else. So there, you have to be able to put your life in balance that what God has said is the top priority. There is right. no person, no person. The will My of the goodness. Father My is goodness. the top priority for our lives, for all of us. Uh -huh. What God has told me, what God has told you is the top priority. And so if I'm putting what God said on the shelf and I'm doing My what Lord. everybody else want me My to do, Lord. well, I'm My out Lord. of balance. I'm My out Lord. of balance. My and Lord. so there is a way to make sure that you are keeping the will of God as the top, the preeminent thing. Yes. And then balance okay. in the things that you may have responsibilities in ministry and things of that nature. But God's stuff is top. It has to there be. It is. And, and, it and is. many times we get so busy doing so many things that we put our stuff that God has spoken to us in dreams and visions and prophecies, right, absolutely. the things absolutely. that we know that we have been purposed by we God know, to do on this know. earth. We, we put that away and we take on all this other stuff and we have to balance it out. 
and I, and I, I believe that God will help us to do that if that is our yes. desire to put his will first. His will his is will. the preeminent his thing. Will. His will. His and will. then we can balance it with family and, and, and church activities and different things like that. But we must always keep in our mind that God is first. Nothing else has come before God. And yeah. whatever he has told us to do, we have to say, I got to do it. That's why I'm here. I'm not here to do it. I can't do everything. Can't do everything. We're not here to do everything. We're not the jack of all trades. You right. see, God did right. not bring me to the earth to be a philosopher, a, a, a mathematician, a, a, a professor, and all of these things. When I have a priority with him, the will of the yeah, Father is the Lord. top. Jesus Lord, said, good. my meat, my, my meat my is to my do Lord. the will yeah. of him that sent right. me yeah. and to right. finish yeah. his work. That yeah. is what Absolutely. Jesus Absolutely. said. That's you know, the said. disciples was trying to pull him over here and pull him over here. But he said, oh, no, 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 no. Y'all can do that. Y'all can eat right now. But my meat. My food is to do the will of the Father. My That's God, my here. God. That's Hallelujah. Good. And we always got to keep that at the forefront, the will of the Father. What's the will of the Father? Yeah. That's what I'm here to do. Yeah. And anything yeah. else is going to come under that. Everything right. else is going to come right. under that. Right. right. And we so we have to balance it all out. And sometimes we might have to cut some stuff off, you yeah. know? We my might have Lord. to just cut a few things off of the list, but my, my thing is like, if I can't do the will of the Father, all that other stuff don't even matter. What it else? Don't even matter. My because God. Because the Bible says that when we stand before Him, mm -mm. when we stand before God in Ooh, Matthew, wee. when He gave them the talents and the, the talents, talents Ooh, and He wee. told them, what did you do with what I gave you to do with your purpose? Come on. And Come then on. one of them said, oh, Lord, you gave me one talent, and I hid it in the ground, and I didn't do mm. nothing with it. Mm. See, I cannot stand before God, and mm. I hid my talent. Mm. I hid my the God, my God. I hid yes. the gifting that my God, God has God. purposed me to do in the earth and, God, and have an God. excuse. But the other ones that have five, they made another five. And, and yeah. God said, well done, thou good well and faithful servant. Well done. Well done. To the joy of the Lord. Yeah. See, that's what I want to hear is that well done. Well right. done. I'm not going to hear it unless we do the will right. of the Father. My we Lord. do it. My that's Lord. Father, that's the top priority. My Lord. That's everything. Everything else comes next. And so You're there's right. a balancing. I just encourage those that are busy, busy, God, busy, busy in church, try to get it balanced, but make God stuff number one. It's yeah. number one. Yeah. It's number one. There's nothing yeah. more important than God's purpose yeah. for our lives. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. So good. So good. Right. So good. Yes. Right. 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 Oh, my goodness. Well, I can't believe the time is gone already. Wow. But, oh, my goodness. How exciting to be able to share this time with you, Prophetess Carmen. And Man. I guess uh, as we're going to wrap up, we always like to give our guests that opportunity to, maybe there was something on your heart you knew you wanted to share and I, we didn't really get there, but maybe there's a final word that, or something that you want to sh say to the audience, those that have gathered um, uh, on the line. Just as a final thought, what would you right, like to say? Right, right, right. Amen. Well, I just encourage all of you to allow God to bring you into your purpose. Let yourself surrender and allow yourself to be put on the potter's wheel so that God can transform you and conform you into his image and make you everything he wants you to be because your purpose is awesome. Your purpose is going to help people. It's going to impact people. It's going to bless people. It's going to save people. It's going to heal people. It's going to deliver people. And God wants you to fulfill your purpose. So I just encourage you all, let God do what he wants to do. Stop wrestling with God. Just say yes. Right. Right. Surrender. 
and let him do what he wants to do in your life. Amen. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Great, great, great. That is so awesome. Great. And I know that everybody that's listening throughout this hour, the chat is on fire. Um, you'll see it later when we when you get a chance to look. But we're so grateful for everybody that's joined us. Thank you guys so much. And uh, Prophet Carmen, what an encouragement you have been. We're so Thanks, excited yeah. to, be able to share what God is doing. We want to say one more time um, that uh, she has a Facebook page. And we put that in the chat, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. So she has a Facebook page. And then she has a website right now. And those links are right in the chat. You can go there right now. You can friend her. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, uh, know about her page. You can go to the website. Yes. And for free, you can sign up to get the newsletter. I'm going to sign up for the newsletter tonight and make sure that we're a part. It's our joy and our privilege to be able to share. We are so honored to know you. So grateful for the ministry. You're such a wonderful example of what we have talked about for this hour. We can Thank see you. it that you are doing what God called you to to do and it's so joyous isn't it joyous yeah yeah really good really and, good. and we're excited I, I, I'm uh, as I was listening I became encouraged about you know us even doing this show because yes said, babe you know we need to do a show I was like a show about what <laughs> wow you know but, but I only meant for like one day <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how we end up here two years later. It's been two years. Yeah. And, yeah. Just wow. years yeah. and it's become one of my favorite things to do. Wow. And, uh, I think what's amazing is, what's amazing is a lot of times people don't know that you just run out of ideas. You just, you run into a, a, a stop sign. You're like, you know what? We just won't do a show this week, you know, because you're just tired of trying to, find things to do but when you, soon week. as you do that then the lord will just plant a seed you yes, know and, and you find yourself right back on again on monday <laughs> you know, so. every week okay, lord, what, what do you want your show to be yeah. about because it's certainly not yeah, ours anymore my plan was to not have a show tonight but then my then my wife said well you know remember Maybe we I should call, book. yeah, we and talk book. to Mr. Carmen. And yeah. so I'm so glad she did, you know, because you really uh, inspired us tonight yes, and ministered to us inspired. tonight, you know, and, and that's what we love about you. Don't ever change, yes, don't, yes. you know, and that's why I asked you that question, because when we, when we, a lot of times in, in our church is working and we should work. That's not my point. Uh, a lot of times when we're in our church working, we get drained. Mm -hmm. But but your calling will motivate you. Yes. You never get tired of your calling. Yes. You know, right. And, and the reason we get the reason we get depressed sometimes and we get drained, you know, you know, doing activities is because we're not doing what motivates us. Yes. Yeah. We're you not know, doing what we're designed. And we can never, we do. can never Ooh. push that to the side right. for anybody, yes. right. for anything, yeah. because God called us to do what he said, That's not right. what someone else said. And That's you, know, right. I always, you know, it is like you've said before, and I'm saying this for someone else, but, you know, sometimes it's not as obvious, you know, um, right. Prophetess Carmen, she heard the Lord call her a prophet. Right. And so that was very clear and direct, but even still, it was a process to get from yes. that word to what we're looking at today. Absolutely. And yes. for others, Absolutely. they're saying, well, I don't even know what to do, yeah. but you yeah. know what? The Lord said, the word says, whatever your hands find to do, yeah. do it as unto the Lord. And if you'll just start there, start yeah. there. This, right. this is where working in the church comes into play. You yeah. can yeah. start yeah. there. And yes. then God will do you. He'll raise you up and he'll groom you and he'll right. help you. Right. But at some point, you can't keep hiding behind that church. Work. Absolutely. That's right. You keep hiding behind that now. There's yes. a time for you to step out from behind that, that right. thing you feel comfortable 
and and get out there and do what God called you to do. It, e yeah. Even if it's a silly idea, you thought yeah, at least yeah. that your husband said, let's start a show. <laughs> we, we're beginning to see how wonderful this is. And, we, and we have, we have to and we get have back to, be to, to do we have it. to get back to that calling that yes, we all yeah. know we got. Yes, you know, yes. you know, so when like when people say what my wife said, I don't know what my call on. Yes, you do. You heard the call, you didn't answer. You know, but it's never too late. You know, that's what I'm saying. You know, the motivation comes in your calling. You don't need, you don't need more exercise. You don't need better <laughs> vitamins. You don't need a five-hour energy. You need to, need you need to hour. grab a hold of your calling yes, because yeah. it will motivate you. Yes. I promise, I, prom I have never got tired while I was walking in my calling. Yeah, I yeah. have never got, I have never got disappointed. I have never right. got stressed out. It's when we when we stop operating in what God called us personally to do. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm gonna tell you, you know, and and and, and we all have a calling. We all have a Everybody. calling. Everybody. We all have a calling, and 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 the, and the, the pastor they have a calling, and so Amen. they're doing right. They're doing right to put you to work. But while you're working, remember that yeah. God called you to do something totally different and, and we and we need to find a way to make it work together yes yes and like you said earlier keeping our calling first we we have to remember that we have to remember i promise yes. you you'll never have any peace yes. you'll never be happy you'll never be content unless yes. you're doing what god called you to do amen all right well god bless what a you. night what a night what a night <laughs> Amen. We're so grateful. We're going to go ahead and uh, pray out uh, for the evening. And of course, we always like to end in prayer. Yes. And so, um, first, you want to? Uh, no, I, no, I'm going to let our guest pray. Pray again. She's on fire. Oh, yeah, she, yeah okay. she can do it. All right. She can do it. <laughs> she could, she could have make it. You work for back. Look, back she could have, she could have prayed that whole hour. Well, yes, we know that. <laughs> you know, so, so, you know, I'm pretty sure that she's not worried about that. So, Ben Carmen, go ahead and pray us out. Look, we, we thank you. Thank you. you know, we man. love thank you. you. We, we love, love you all family. so much. Oh, we my love God. love your awesome husband and your awesome children. Yes, and the boys. We miss so you guys. Miss you, oh, too. Goodness. We miss you man. guys. But uh, Thank I'm gonna so that much we're gonna start tuning in. We're gonna start tuning yeah, we'll in. Yeah, we try to connect. On, yeah, <laughs> yes, and, amen. And find you online and and just support one another in, in this ministry. Absolutely. So re re restoring and redeeming, right. reaching, restoring, redeeming souls. Amen. Isn't that gonna be good? That's gonna be excellent. Woo! And if you and if you if you if you have speaking engagements coming up, always yeah, remind us. Let us know. know. We're we'll, we'll we'll trying to support. As much as we can. Amen. Yes, all right, sweet God. Amen. Thank you all so much for inviting me. I'm so honored to be on this awesome show. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank, thank you, you and we honor you, God. We thank give you all the glory and all the praise, Father. We yes. thank you, oh God, for this show on tonight. Lord, we honor you. Thank we ask you. God to move on each one that heard the thank word of the you, Lord God. tonight. Oh, in the yes, name of Jesus, Lord. Father, yes, help yes, us to Lord. put you first. Help us to make everything that is in yes, our purpose yes, and in our yes, calling yes. the top priority. Father, I pray that you would encourage yes, and motivate yes, your people. Father, yes, push your people people into their purpose, God, yes, in the name yes, of Jesus, yes, cause them to be able to walk according to your perfect yes, will. In Lord. the name of Jesus, continue to bless this ministry. Oh God, yes, Pastor yes, Nathan, yes, oh God, yes, Dr. Yes, Brunetta, bless this my ministry, Lord, my bless Lord, this my show. Lord. let it continue to yes, glorify yes, your yes, name. Yes. Oh God, and all those that are in the sound of my voice, God, bless them and help them, Lord, yes, to walk yes, in their God. purpose. And we yes, thank you. We honor you on tonight, God, yes, in God. Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Also, yeah. a special blessing over Prophetess Carmen yes. and yes. her entire family. Yes. Thank you for the ministry you, that Lord. you have put in her. Thank, Thank you for the Mahesh Yad Nyamasa. This you, calling, oh God, Lord, over her Lord, life. Lord, 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 we thank you for her obedience and her yes, sacrifice yes, to yes, step Lord. into this role yes, on behalf of the kingdom. 
Jesus. Yes, now, yes. God, further the work of her oh, hands. Yes. Multiply the yes. work of her hands. Oh, God, Thank Lord, you. bless everything that she Thank will do. You God. said, oh, God, hallelujah, yes. that our hands would be blessed. God, as we do your will. So we thank you now for a blessing upon blessing on every side. Oh, God bless the new ministry that has been launched. Bless the website, oh God. Bless the business, oh God. Bless the teaching, oh God. Bless the coaching, oh God. God, Lord, oh, bless the newsletter. Yes. Oh, God, Lord, Thank touch you. the yes. Facebook yes. page. Oh, God, yes, Lord, souls, God, hallelujah, yes. being restored and renewed, yes, and yes Lord, oh, God, and reached on every side. I thank yes. you for those, God, that are seeking their purpose, Lord, yes. that they will connect with her. Oh, God, My and Lord, she'll be able My to Lord. coach them to the My place Lord. where yes. they will, hallelujah, be able to walk in yes, that thing, God. Lord. Yes. I thank for the gifts, Lord God. Yes, Hallelujah, God. Lord, that will be presented yes, on behalf of the kingdom. And we thank you. Bless yes. every yes, soul yes, that yes. will watch this video, oh God. Yes. Lord, that they will be moved to draw closer to yes, you, to God. find yes. balance, to seek out their purpose, yes, to allow yes. you, God, have to have your way. Oh, God, I thank you for doing it like God. never before. Bless her, bless her husband, bless her children. Oh, thank God, you. we yes. promise to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In yes. Jesus' name, we say thank God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, what a dear time. Thank God for yes. you. We're so excited for what's about to come next. We're just yes. grateful. Yes. And certainly, um, I know everybody has been uh, just a girl. The chat is on fire. All right. Don't forget. <laughs> so, um, Miss Pastor, I got every title for you. Prophetess, Pastor, Minister, <laughs> uh, Sister, uh, my dear. She's just call me Carmen. I said, oh, we got to give glory to what God has called amen, you to. Amen, amen. But uh, you can go ahead and log off now. We'll say goodbye to all God of the guests. You. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, shortly. God bless you. Oh, we I know you just had a ball with all of that. Uh, so congratulations again to Minister Sherry Lacey. We're going to uh, connect with you to make sure you can get your book. Those of you uh, that worked, uh, you know, winners tonight, that's okay. You can go right to the website, CarmenRoberson.com and just scroll down and you can order your book and, uh, and you'll get that. Every one of us, I know every one of us, every one of us wants to know that we are walking in our divine calling. I, there's not a person on this line. There's not anybody that's going to watch this video that isn't it. Just, uh, I mean, just uh, hungry to do that. My and Lord, so this Lord, is yes. your opportunity. If you don't know what God has called you to do, that's okay. Surrender to Jesus and then go to Carmen's website. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and Amen. take some of those classes and let and get a coach. You all, let's work one together. We we are joined fitly, fitly joined Amen. together Amen. to give to each other what's needed. That's such a wonderful ministry. I'm so glad we Amen. were able to have one. All right. So we thank God for each of you. Thank God I saw some people that have never been on. Lord of mercy. Thank you, Miss Annie. Thank you, Miss Connie. Hey, Anita Austin, my sister. We love you. Latanya, we say thank God for you. Bless okay. you. Mom BJ was on. I said her. Mom BJ was on. Thank you, Prophetess Ernestine and Evangelist Glennis. And she right. stayed on the whole time. We love you, sweet pie. Hey, Auntie Sylvia. Oh, we are so grateful for you. Thank God for all of you that have joined us on tonight. We saw Damon Blunt brother, Damon. and he stayed on. Yes, Thank you. Did. Thank you, my brother. We hope to see you some more. Kathy Lewis was on. Kathy. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're so glad to see you and so many others of you that were on. Sandra Ramey was on tonight. Kimberly Wallace. Oh my goodness. Martine, bless you, sweet pie. We're glad you could be on. So many, so many. And so we thank God for each of you. We, we greet you in the name of Jesus. We, we hope you'll come back again next Monday night. We got another really good show, don't we, sweet yes, yes. The Lord is so good to us. You want to tell them about the next week's show? Well, you know, next week we're going to have some young leaders on from uh, 
you know, from all over. So yes, we, I know you loved our young people show yeah, yeah. just a few weeks ago, but we've got another good one. Yeah, for we, you. we talked to to uh Minister JT yes. and he's gathering up some young leaders yes. from all around. <laughs> So we're gonna have that show on um, next week. Next week we'll be yeah. back. So please we tune in, support you. our young people. Miss Money, we love you. Amen. Oh my Amen. gosh, we have no clue how all you do what you do. Thank you for all the posting. Yeah. You are a blessing to us. We know the Lord is gonna bless you even more. Thank you, Mom Newman and Prophetess Everett. Yeah. And we also thank little Corey. Corey's on. She made it on. We we're so grateful to all of you. We say thank well, you, Pastor Gary Everett. Oh, Pastor Gary was on. What you yeah. say? Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. We love you, and we'll see you right God bless. here next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Lord, we love, love you. you. Guys. <laughs> Good night.